have a functioning drill press yet, which is kind of wild. We should have had one of those by now. Uh, we have one, it's just not wired up yet, but... Okay, okay. That's two, three, four. Oh, this is it. Oh, seven, you disgust me. Let's, um... Okay, so I'm stealing the Metropolis from green. So I'm going to shut down brown. Because brown is now the power player. Uh, and let's also have a spy on brown. Ooh, look at that. Crane? Or bishop? Yeah, screw it. Let's take a bishop. Let's bounce it over to the ten. And then we'll use the mining. Okay. So here's one. Here it is that. One, two, one, two. Okay, that's five paper. Finally! Finally, something good. Okay, this pulls us to 10. It's too bad we couldn't also have had that crane or something or other to fourth city, but that's okay. I mean, Brown might just settle and win. At least I got the 10. Um, 10 barbarian strength. Yeah, I don't think I can put myself to 11 here. Oh, I was kicked out of the game. Oof. Wait, really? Ha ha ha. Oh, screw this game. Screw this game. I have no words. I literally have no words. 1232. <laughs> I just lost to a wheel. <laughs> Just like when it came in thirds, I would not have lost 12 ELO. This sucks. <sighs> this royally sucks. <laughs> Last time that you saw worked on a lathe was college for wheat coin. Very interesting that you had that opportunity because I feel like it's such a rare thing to run into nowadays like none of my I mean none of my friends have even minus one who worked at my old shop has even touched the lathe <clears throat> Secro loved that job nice um, so yeah we don't have any CNC machines we just have all manual machines but um, it's very very interesting work I can make um, I can you know make very I can't make like what a CNC machine can make parts wise but I can make various parts um, I guess they're more basic parts because I've seen five axis CNC machines on Instagram where they just make crazy parts uh, for, down to crazy tolerances um, I'm gonna play one more but I just mmm I guess I this whole this whole stream so far I'm, I'm gonna play one more I guess I all I need to do is end my turn a little sooner grab that third place that minus uh, 2 ELO instead of minus 12 but it all it all went downhill when I couldn't steal that blue metropolis that's when it all went downhill I stole the Green Metropolis, that put me to 10. Uh, I stole too far off to steal the yellow one. And that and Merchant was, was my... Or two settlement spots and a Merchant. Yeah, 
I was just a little too far off that game from winning. Um, do I have any videos of me working on the lathe? I'm not sure. I have a few videos of me doing, like I made those Catan pieces on the milling machine. Um, I may have taken one small video of me milling out the Metropolis out of brass. There's like a couple, like maybe two videos on my YouTube channel. I think when I made the puzzle, the unorthodox machine is puzzle. I think I, I posted some video because I used a T-slot cutter to mill through the key stock. Well, I, I started out with the, uh, what would it have been? I think a 3 8 end mill. I milled out the top section and then I milled out the T-slot section after that. I'm going first again. Through some, uh, was it 7 8 key stock maybe? Like 11 pieces of those for the slide puzzle I did, the unblock me puzzle. Get on ore and wheat now. It's lots of sheep. I think I get on f maybe five nine ten now, then city up on it later. I don't like going about it the backwards way, but let me try four eight ten. Hmm, three six nine. Wheat coin, you sniped in here again. They do call you the sniper, don't they? So don't stop believing and hold on to that feeling. And now an Asian man is the lead singer of Journey. And he, and he sings, some people say he sings even better than the original guy, Joe Perry? Something Perry? I was at a wedding years ago, and um, they played a bunch of Journey songs, and I, that was the first time I'd ever heard "Lovin', Touchin', Squeezin'," and um, I was like, super, you know, obviously super appropriate for a wedding song. Like that makes totally, total, total sense to be played at a wedding. But um, I was like, dang, this song goes hard in the uh, the intimacy, intimacy, romance department, like. Uh, you throw that on, you might be loving, touching, squeezing before you know it. <clears throat> it's like slow, but it's got that, got that soul in it. It's got that passion. <clears throat> uh, you use the CNC mostly, a mill most of the time. Gotcha. Yours was five axes. Nice. Did you ever, Secador? Did you ever make any like? parts for yourself, like were you allowed to with some leftover slash scrap material, whatever whatever the case may be. You worked literally about six minutes every three hours, forty five minutes. Uh, like setting up, you know, all the all the tool holders, right? And then programming in the um you know, the X, Y, and Z points where the cuts would be made, all that. And you just sat around Okay, and then the machine, once it was programmed, and he just, once you hit go, then the machine did the rest, right? <clears throat> we enjoy your stream being here. So don't, yeah, okay, gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> I I do enjoy it, but sometimes this freaking game just wow, winds me up. <clears throat> Jigglypuff, yes, I'll hydrate. All right. Weak coins coming in hot for the city. On four six eleven. Hmm. I might just say screw it. Go four five eleven. Uh, eight five ten. Four eight ten. Coordinated eights and tens, perhaps. Yeah, let's go five eight ten. And then maybe I can um, city up in four eight ten later. Number of week, 
but willpower strong. And let's go for wood ports. Mainly doubling down the five. There's a nine to start us off. There's an eight. Oh, I forgot to, um, I was gonna, I guess some, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. I was gonna say, with my curling bar, every time, um, I roll a seven, or seven control and I lose cards, I could, I could curl, curl out and reps the difference. There's a ten. Barbarian's not slowing down. Four. Uh, four or eight will do do the trick for me. Ooh. I could do the the dirty city, maybe, or I might just uh, play it cool and do a or for sheep trade because I need sheep. And I think I know someone who needs ore. <clears throat> Secador says, yes, sent out the parts on the tombstone. They had huge contracts for specific parts that lasted years. So I don't have to load parts and it ran perfectly. Oh, yeah, the... Ooh, what is... Ugh, that's... Settle down with that. I can't trade away the wheat. I can't guarantee I roll the eight. Okay, so you have these big contracts. So are you doing like is a lot of repetition like you it's a big contract and you're making the same part over and over and over and over again? There's the six. Oh now he doesn't need me anymore. Let's see who does. I wish I didn't roll that six. I'm useless to them. Counter offer. Counter offer. What you got for me, Orange? Everybody's got a counter offer. Okay, Wheat Coins counter offer is the best. So I'll go with him. Knight. Activate. Blue level one. Um, let's go down here, I guess. Um, Okay, so you don't have to load parts that ran perfectly. Occasionally, maybe tweaking it if a defect started appearing that couldn't be quality controlled out later. Yeah, every once, like, what was inter interesting at my old shop, um, like, in the wintertime, my boss would say, like, the, the ground would, would, like, you know, slightly shift or settle differently because of the winter weather. And so I would notice if I was making a brass sleeve for a pump, um, it would, the machine would cut like a, a taper over, over the span of like three or four inches. And it would only be like a one, one thousandth, one thousandth of an inch taper, but it'd be just enough where you'd be like, okay, I'm going to make this cut. And then the, the one side of the sleeve I'm making, I'm going to, I'm going to polish it off with some sandpaper or some, uh, like some real light, light grit sandpaper. So that way my part can, you know, be the same. Uh, let's say I was making a, for the OD for, um, what would the OD be on one, like inch and a quarter, like one in um, 250 thousandths. So I'd, I'd have to sand one side of it because it'd be at one in 251 thousandths. Because the, the, seal, the mechanical seal would have a, um, a rubber part that would slide over the OD of the sleeve and if you're even a couple thousandths over the inch and a quarter, let's say, then um, the rubber would have a really hard time 
sliding over the OD of the brass sleeve. Hmm. Okay, so I get 10. I settle. The simple life. Eights. Not bad. Get me closer to the uh, the city here. Was oh, okay. You're tweaking with sandpaper tumblers. Gotcha. Or if one of the expensive drill bits got worn down a bit, with just the coordinates a little rather than chuck a three hundred to three thousand dollar drill bit. We um I'm still learning how to do this, but um we had these uh these like. Trying to remember what material they are, but these grind these grinding wheels in the back of the shop, and we would sharpen the drill bits uh, by hand. I'm I still I still need to um, practice that because like I'd sometimes get it, sometimes not. And they would cut back okay, here red with the go ahead check mark. We'll just settle here. We'll activate the knights. Um, I could city wall, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Four is good. Yeah, I think city is the very, very next objective. But I gained a two. That's that's whack. Maybe slow the speed down when that bit was in use. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Same part again for years. Dang, secret door. That that will get. I'm sure that gets boring after a while. The the um. Oh oh, if I can find it, I'll put it in my Discord. This is the. Like not that I ever came close to making parts for over years and years and years. Where would that be at? Oh wait, did I post it on here? I made these brass pieces. No, I didn't post it. Where did I post it then? Hang on, hang on. I guess I didn't post it on here. I thought I did. Hmm. Okay, so if I just never posted it, where did I put it? Maybe it's in the Severate, Severi, Severinus is out. He's out of here. I guess just okay. So let me find the picture. So I made these at the old shop. So that would have been like 2020. I made all these brass pieces for this customer was like experimenting with water lines. And you wanted to without valve them all off. So these pieces bolted to, I think, a ball valve or something. He was just doing some sort of experiment, so... Or some sort of testing. Yep, there they are. There they are. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to copy the photo. I'm going to come over to the Discord. Go into. You can find it in my Discord in general. Get out of here. Paste. Discord paste from photos. Let's see. Is it going to work? It's going to work. Okay, so it's in the Discord. You can see it there. You know, these, uh, just some small brasses, but it was just over and over and over again. So I started with just a round stock of brass, and it was solid, so I had to bore it out for the right size, and then turn out the OD, and um, then there was four drilled and tapped holes kind of in the corners, or towards the outer part of the piece. So, um... <clears throat> I think I just, I think I drilled the holes for those. I set myself up on the drill press. And I had the same setup to where I could just bolt in the next piece, bolt in the next piece. Um, instead of trying to like 
you know, you know, touch in from the side every time with the uh, edge finder on the mill. <sighs> so to speak. Seven. It would take someone not familiar with the part about 45 minutes to load the rough stock. But I load it so often like I could do it without even really looking. All of it under six minutes. Nice. It's always cool to get so good at your job you can do something like way faster than you first could do it. The foundation of the tool you're working with is probably not built under the frost line. Oh, okay. So the ground raised up a little. Gotcha, gotcha. And one one of the lays we had to um, we had to level it out with like... Um, I guess these, I don't know if you call them jacking bolts that were on the floor. Uh, so we had to crawl under the, well, I had to crawl under the lathe while the machinist, um, he had, he was touching the indicator on, on various parts of the, the bed or the way or something. Um, so it, it was, it was filthy under there. No one ever been under there in years, but that was interesting. Okay, here's level two. And here is a road. Hmm. Well, ran all ran so smoothly for you that you basically just sat there, make sure nothing could catastrophic happen. Gotcha. We had a lot of diamond tip drills. Okay, that's why they're like three thousand upwards of three, closer to three thousand dollars. And occasionally milled gold parts. That's crazy. I I've only machined uh, stainless, cast iron, um, like a, a couple different steels. Like we call them TGP term ground polish and um, cold road steel. Maybe one other brass. Uh, aluminum and um, we had this stuff it, it, it was called like nylon it was kind of like plastic uh, that every once in a while obviously that was super easy to machine compared to like you didn't even need coolant with those or we didn't even need coolant with those compared to like machining on stainless or steel or something like that and you didn't care, you never got bored. You'd rather sit around and do nothing and be active constantly when it comes to getting paid. Hey, that's, uh, I hear that. I, I like the, you know, the break. You know, even just driving to a job, and that's kind of a break, driving back from a job, so you're not, so I could just sit in the truck and not have to, like, be swinging a hammer or picking heavy stuff up, bumping the, um, our, our dolly with tools or our, our hand cars we call it up the stairs because the f the freaking elevator never goes to the penthouse level to the where the mechanical room is um, every every once in a while I find a building that does that uh, but usually not so we're always bumping our cart with our tools up the stairs okay so here is the city here is the diplomat, because we can try to slide in on this orb horse. And here is, I think, the paper? Yeah. Let's do the paper upgrade. And then pass. Uh, another eight. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Nice. Maybe now I should um, city wall. I just read there's a library down the street with a cute librarian. Win win. You find a way to pass time during work, and there's a cute librarian down the street. This is a way for good wireless connection. Otherwise, they've been on the internet. Yeah. So like, uh, at my old shop. I don't. I was. I was a helper there, so um, I was like, 
I, I, I just kind of felt like, you know, I'm I'm one of the younger guys around here. I'm, uh, I can't be on my phone, but my the one inside guy, because a lot of us were outside guys. We'd go out, out in the field, they would say, and repair stuff. But the one inside guy, he would, like, just... He'd sit down after he set the, the milling machine up to like cut a keyway in a shaft. If it was a long keyway, you just sit down. It'd be all set up, cool and flowing. And then you just like go on his phone. Maybe hit the vape. I I heard you were allowed to smoke in the shop way back in the day, but that was like way before my time. Uh nine. Wheat coin gets the brick port. Inventor. Red, bring us something good here. No, Red! Come on, man. We could have had coordinated fives. Well, we could have had coordinated fives, but there it is. Okay, there's a 10. Uh, resource mod is the ore. Big, big L for me. Uh, I need a 4. I need a 4 like there never was one. Yes! Yes! There we go. Okay. That that was actually very helpful. Yellow level one. We'll settle. Activate knights. And we'll pass. Two! I actually have a two. Ten. Keep bringing these tens. Okay, I guess I should focus a little bit on the game, right? <clears throat> this is around 2006 to 2009. You had one of those Verizon Air cards, but this was out in the countryside, so I get like 0.8 megabits per second. Yeah, that was, I didn't get a flip phone until I was in seventh grade, so this that would have been um, 2007. <clears throat> and I had like l limited calling and also limited texting. Two, one, zero. Let's just get rid of all of that. Let's let's shut them down on the six. I think. Is a brick? Okay, we're gonna go level three. And then we're going to follow it up with level 2. And I think that's it for now. It's up to... Oh, yikes. It's kind of up to all of us. Because Orange doesn't have a city. For night strength. 12. That disgusts me. Alright, so yeah, I gotta gotta get another night out on the board. There's an eight. Alright, bots. Bot goes for six. Oh no, this is bad. Can bot activate a knight is the question. Or if bot doesn't, I think we everybody lose the city. Um yes. But please activate a knight. In your level 2 knight specifically. Thank you. Okay, so we're good on that. Four. Oh, nice. Since I refused to build a city wall, here's an engineer. Let's go yellow level 2. Um, I think he's got, I think he's still holding that paper. Let's take a look, see. Here's Brick. 
please gonna yes yes he does oh if he also gives me a paper no too good to be true too good to be true okay um one two two yeah not happening okay that's fine at least we're good on but range just invade now and then we'll figure you out next time okay and he gets the five double five for red could kind of browse the internet with it that Verizon Air Car was a hundred and twenty dollars a month for like kind of browse that's crazy to me as we coin steals the paper right back and it sucks but it's making all it's making it nostalgic <clears throat> yeah this was like I was actually late to getting a computer in my family's house because we didn't even get it until I was in fifth grade which would have been 2005 yeah around 2005 we got a computer and all my friends had one before I did <clears throat> another five I learned so many things in that shop that are useful in everyday life nice drop down indicator gotcha and a leveling table to make sure everything is within thousands Cast iron is pretty hard to work with. <clears throat> I I one thing I've never done before that one of my one of my or, older coworkers he told me to grab this cast iron impeller to clean it all wire wheel it all up and um, he wants me to try to weld on it which like my welding needs so so much practice but um, <clears throat> like I can mig somewhat um, I only tig like once or twice at the old shop and I still can't stick weld. But he, he can he can aluminum weld, which like is crazy to me. Like he's he's really good with welding. So he wants me to try to practice um, welding on cast iron. Let me use this bishop here. I machined um, we had some of these pump housings, so if they were if we would mic them, um, or we you know, check them with the snap gauge and then check the snap gauge with the mic um, in two different directions and if they were slightly out of round or out of spec then I would bore it out and press in a stainless steel um, insert for the for the bearing to fit into so when I whenever I bored out cast iron on the on the lathe it, it wasn't it seemed to machine pretty pretty well but yeah I, I couldn't even imagine right now trying to pick it up and trying to Weld on it. Thank you, Wee Coin. I will take that, and then I will. Okay, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. I'm gonna wait. Um, plug ears. Robert, anything but the robber. More? Ah, oh, crap, we're right out of time. There we go. Well then, well then, well then. Oh, actually, I can save this. I can save this. Uh, we're going to alchemist to 10. That seven sucked, but this can be saved. And we got the merchant fleet, that's epic. Okay. Here is the knights. Here it is activated. Here's the irrigation. And here is the science bonus. Pass. Alright, now 
we're in a good position we're gonna protect these uh, cities um, I don't know what I'm gonna build at this point now I'm not gonna city up on 211 that's disgusting Ooh, ooh. okay I see it I need a road building I need a road building gold was easy but nerve-wracking to work with because it really had to be perfect like like the finish had to come out nice like I'm assuming gold like what who what customer what are they ordering a part for that's made out of gold like is it is it always for show for looks all right let's take Take one of these. One, two, yeah. The shop I was at was on the family farm, so there were horses and ducks and goats. Oh, nice. Goats were assholes. <laughs> the horses were cool. Yeah, the real old guys, the manual of Sheenus, there was something else. They were printers exempt from any rules. They were left over from the owner's father around the shop. Gotcha. <laughs> they smoke and drink. <laughs> like, it. At my shop, there's like ten of us. So like the older guys, they're they're so irreplaceable that they could literally do whatever they wanted. Like I worked at a Ford dealer for a year and a half, and almost anybody was replaceable. Cause you know there's Ford mechanics all over the country. But at my shop, with manual machinists, it's such a I guess a dying breed or dying art, whatever you want to call it, that I rarely meet someone outside of my shop that has worked on manual machines. There was one guy in my in my family's neighborhood. Uh, he actually did that at a, uh, at the Navy Yard, I think, and he ended up giving me some of his old tools. That was crazy. I never would have expected that. Not only to meet someone in the neighborhood but also the generosity so that was really cool okay I want I think I'm gonna go for that and then oh I'm gonna bounce it now prepare for the bounce here's there's a wood oh should have taken a brick should have known and we'll let it end up on Do the nine. Okay, here's the warlord coming at you. Level two. Everybody's got two night strength. Um, merchant fleet. Choices, choices to be made. I think it's time for. I'm going to use merchant fleets on ore and I'm going to port wood port or port two coin blue metropolis and that's it before my turn can run out and I can get strike I don't want to get strike one you had the LG Envy I think it was the first one with a full keyboard besides Blackberry I had some um, my parents got, actually I think my sister was too young to get a phone, so I think it was just for me and my mom, because my dad just like, my dad's had a flip phone up until like two, three years ago, and he finally got an iPhone 8. Like, he didn't even get a brand new iPhone, he, just, he got a, like a, I guess it was still, technically you can still get them new a couple years ago, but, um, so for Christmas one year, this would have been like maybe 2009 or so. Um, me and my mom got AT&T Quick Fires, I think. It was like a touch screen on the front, but then you, you turned it like horizontal and you flipped it up and it revealed the keyboard. That was after my black Motorola Racer flip phone. And then... Um, 
we might have had, I might have had one more, I had some sort of Samsung phone that was like touchscreen on the face of it. Did that one also flip up? Or something? Maybe it just flipped to the, to the side to reveal a keyboard, and then I think I got an iPhone after that. Uh, but yeah. Maybe some of my friends that are a few years older than me may have may have had something like LG Envy. I never had a Blackberry. Maybe they had a Blackberry. You get on internet on that phone, but the screen was tiny, the resolution wasn't great. There was um before I had a phone, my mom had some she had this flip phone where you could play like a small flash game. So I just drained the battery on just playing whatever that flash game was. Okay, I need the certain green card. And I didn't get it. But, you know what I did get? <sighs> Freaking robber. Yikes. Actually, the robber is super, super unhelpful right now. Uh, I'm going to try it. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try it. We coin, I'm coming at you. Thanks for the paper. Here's the irrigation. Okay. Choices, choices. So I can do eight. That would make four cards. Nope, that's not enough. I need more than that. That seven screwed me over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's just get a metropolis. And I will city wall. I wanted to road road settle, I'll just put it out there, but the sevens keep thwarting my plans. But okay, so that phone was cutting edge for its time, the LG NV. Never picked up willing that is separate crew for that, gotcha. Yeah, we we like um can't we we do Kind of, kind of a variety of my shop, so it's, it's there if I want to practice it, kind of thing. So I'm trying to learn the outside in the field work where we go and we, you know, repair all these fan units and pump units, uh, or sometimes we bring the whole thing back to the shop and rebuild it, and that's where the inside work comes into play. Where every once in a while a part will be so worn out that you'll have to machine a new part. Which I've, I've only gotten the chance to do a couple times because the main older machinists are the ones doing it. But every once in a while, they're so slammed with work that I can make something that's not, you know, it's still within my skill set. <clears throat> you don't even remember it was rare that you had to do it? And your supervisor handled that, gotcha. Yeah, Lidicky Ball? Lidicky Ball? I've been trying to get to that spot. But I haven't made it over there quite yet. Also, the dicky ball, you're right. I'm close. You know, fives haven't popped off as much as I thought they would, because red could have made a play for Green Metropolis earlier, but I'm in there. I lost 12 ELO, I'm gonna get it back. Or maybe less. That oh, that's still painful. That first game I, I should have uh, I should just ended the turn. Gone for at least third, you know. Or at least maybe second, maybe second. Wee coin's got three cities, I got two. I do have two metropolises though. What's talking about working with gold? Gotcha, gotcha. It was rare that you had to work with gold. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was just curious because we, I don't even think I've worked with um, anything beyond like the four or five materials I mentioned. Dang, that you was shut down. That sucks. Let's bounce it. Brick. 
and wheat. Okay. I'm just going to wait. Four. Oh, the direct shutdown. Okay. Oh, the longest road. He took it. He took it. He took it. The dicky ball, you had the right idea, but now it's going to be a little longer. Oh man, if I if I could draw that road building, that RB, I could at least build on a sweet spot. Secador says, yeah, you should learn all you can from those old guys. Even back then, they were saying that there's going to be a huge need for manual machines because they're all getting old and dying, which is an unfortunate truth. Um, so yeah, every day, I'm trying to pick up something new from them. Um, I mean, because look, I, I've been doing the, this work with them, because even when I came to the new shop, it was my boss the old shop started his own shop and brought us all over. There's a whole story there. That's for another day, though. <clears throat> but, so I've been doing this work for five years now. And like, uh, every once in a while I'll be like, man, I know a lot by now. And then like, they'll be making this part or whatever, and I'll be like, yeah, psh. I thought I knew a lot, <clears throat> and they'll have, I'll just be, there's a bunch, I'll see that there's a bunch more to learn. <clears throat> and then also, like, we have, like, the internet nowadays, we have YouTube, there's various machinist pages I'll follow on, you know, Instagram or whatever, so there's so much, there's content about it that I can... I can also watch, and I have a few machinist handbooks that the the old guy my my parents' neighborhood gave me. So I have multiple resources to draw from, but it's mainly the old guys in the shop. All right, we're going to Alchemist. I think a ten gets me there. So let's do a 10. Eight, one of the eights is blocked. Here's a green progress card. Thank goodness we finally got it. Um, and I think I won, actually. Let's see here. One, two. Need to build three roads. Let's freaking go. I, was, I wanted to go four, 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 four five, five. One, two, oh wait, I can do it, I can go to 14 points. Here's the settle, just glorious. And here's the longest road for 14. That should give me like double ELO. Okay, um, I got 10, I'm back up to 12, almost 12.44, 12.43. Okay, so I um, I took one step back and one step forward this this stream pretty much. That's Wee coin. What are you at? You're at eleven thirty four. Okay, Wee coins on the up and up on the ELO grind. I'll have to watch out for him. He got plus seven for second place. That's pretty good. 